Hey everybody, and in this video we're going to be talking about fixing that annoying stick drift on your Xbox Series X controller. Uh, very disappointed that this even happened in the first place. It seemed like the OG controllers back in the day never had issues, lasted forever. Um, apparently these higher costing controllers, you know, they're like 50 bucks and up, um, break easier. Um, and I don't know why, but there are some good fixes to try before you buy another. So let's go through it in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, let's test the controller. Um, there's a great website called hardwaretester.com slash gamepad. I'll put a link in the description below, but this is a website where you can just uh, test your gamepad. You can see the drift occurring on the left here. This is the left joystick that is causing problems, but I'll press up or down, release, it'll go back to center, and the sensor doesn't go back to center, which is causing severe stick drift and a lot of annoyance when playing games. So most fixes require you to open your controller up to kind of get the dirt and debris out of your sensor area um, where your joystick sits. Um, so that's what we're going to do in this video. You can try it without opening your controller up with, you know, a can of air, but uh, honestly opening it up uh, worked for me. So for this job, you're going to want some torque security bits, some screwdrivers, a pry tool, canned air, and alcohol, and a Q-tip. We're going to remove the batteries in the back plate and we're gonna remove the two side panels on the back of this controller. As a quick note, you will need the torque security bits and you can buy these on Amazon for about 12 bucks or even a little less, but I'll put a, um, a little affiliate link in the description below. Um, this is a really good set and you'll see that it has a little hole in the center. Um, these are special screws you'll have to use to open the controller up. So I'm gonna use my pry tool and I'm gonna hold down the trigger button as I pry and then I'm gonna push directly backward and the back plate of the grip on the controller will pop off. Um, you can use a, a screwdriver, um, but if you use a regular screwdriver, you could scratch the plastic a little bit, but if you use the plastic one, it should be a bit better. So again, hold down on the trigger, press directly away from the controller and then it'll pop off. And once we've removed the two grip panels with our pry tool, we now want to remove the sticker on the back side of the controller in the battery compartment. And once you have removed the sticker, you're going to see five torque screws that you're going to need to remove from the back of the controller. And once those five are removed, you can pull up the front plate and get to the interior of your controller. Again, remember to use your security torque bits. You're going to see a little hole in the center. These screws are kind of odd. Uh, it makes it very challenging to open the controller without proper bits. And just take your time removing those screws. And once the screws have been removed, you can pull off the front plate. It should easily come off at this point. And then you can pull out the joysticks. They just pull straight up and off of the controller. And then you can clean inside of your controller. So here's the joystick. It's just a stationary plastic piece that goes on a moving switch. And so I removed my left joystick because this is where the issue is, the drift. And we can move it left and right, up and down. And you're gonna see that there's little gaps um, where dirt and debris can get into your controller. And this is where we're gonna wanna get some canned air, spray some in there, and maybe even get a little bit of alcohol and um, a Q-tip and you know, clean that area up so we can get the dirt and debris out of there. Once we have cleaned out the compartments of dirt with our canned air, we can use some alcohol here and a Q-tip, wipe around in there, clean up any excess dirt that may still be lingering, and this will help reduce drift in your controller as well. And for the last step, just reassemble your controller the way you took it apart. Um, I wouldn't put it fully back together. I would actually test it before you put the screws in and everything. So just go back to your gamepad tester and we can see here we've removed the stick drift. Um, you can see there's barely any drift here. Um, not enough to cause any issues with any programs or games when using this controller. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.